In this film, we're going to describe the different castes of honeybee. Honeybees are divided into three different types. The queen and the worker, which are female bees, and the drone, which is a male bee. The queen bee is the heart of the colony. Without her, the rest of the colony cannot survive. She has two main purposes. To produce chemical scents or pheromones, which help regulate the unity and stability of the colony, and to lay eggs. You can identify the queen by the size of her abdomen, which is noticeably larger than a worker or drone bee. Within the hive, she will usually walk straight through the brood, whilst the workers and drones will have a tendency to crawl over each other. Despite this, the queen can still be tricky to spot. To help locate her, a beekeeper will often mark her thorax with a dab of paint, the colour of which will indicate which year she was born in, and so therefore how old she is. The queen can lay as many as 2,000 eggs a day and live for up to five years. However, after a couple of years she will start to slow her production, so it is advisable to replace the queen of each hive every couple of years. The worker bees make up a majority of the hive's population. Physically, they are the smallest bee in the hive, but as their name suggests, they perform a majority of the work. On average, they will live from 35 to 45 days, and the specific job they perform will vary with age. The first half of a worker's life will be spent taking care of the hive by tending to the queen, looking after the brood and building the wax comb. When fully matured, they will begin to defend the hive and forage for pollen, nectar, propolis and honeydew. Finally, there is the drone bee. Drones make up a relatively small percentage of a colony's total population, varying from about 2,000 to 6,000, depending on the time of year. Procreation with a virgin queen is the drone's primary purpose in life, and they do very little else within the hive. They have no sting, so are unable to defend the colony, yet they still need to be fed and cared for by the workers. For more step-by-step -step guides like this one, head over to madegood.org.